so we are doing exercise number 1.4 now and this exercise deals with the terminating decimal expansion or non terminating repeating decimal expansions so how to figure out whether a given rational number has a terminal decimal expansion or non terminal repeating decimal expansion right very easy concept it is so see listen carefully uh, all these numbers are rational numbers as you can see because rational numbers can be represented in the form of a by b where b should not be equal to 0 so all these questions from first part to 10th part all are rational numbers only but rational numbers are of two types first we are decimal expansion will terminate after some digits for an example 2.57 so this thing terminated this decimal expansion terminated after two places of decimal so this is terminating decimal expansion now what will happen if this 57 keeps on repeating keeps on repeating dot 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 right then what will happen this will become non terminating because these terms are not terminating not ending and they are repeating 5 and 5 and is repeating decimal expansion right so two types of decimal expansions are there one which terminate after some time and the other one which does not terminate and repeat itself okay like if you divide 1 by 3 you try to divide 1 by 3 it is non terminating repeating okay you try to divide 1 uh, by 6 again it is non terminating repeating right so let us proceed to the question so question number 1 whether it is non terminating or terminating decimal let us see simply there is a rule a rational number will be terminating decimal if its denominator is of type 2 raised to power n into 5 raised to power n where at m and n can be any whole number okay so 2 raised to power 2 5 raised to power 1 or 2 raised to power 3 5 raised to power 4 2 raised to power 0 5 raised to power 7 2 raised to power 8 5 raised to power 9 anything like that if the denominator is of that type then the Uh, the rational number is terminating decimal okay i have written a note here if denominator has only 2 raised to power m or only 5 raised to power m even then the rational number will be terminating so it is not necessary that both should be in the denominator if only 2m is there even then it will be terminating if only 5m is there even then it will be terminating only the case when it is not terminating is when at the denominator we have other numbers like 3 7 isn't it 9 uh, 3 7 11 13 13 like this if these prime numbers are there in the denominator then definitely the rational number is going to be non terminating repeating now see here carefully 13 upon 3125 3, 1, 2, 5. If you do the prime factorization of 3, 1, 2, 5, you will get 5 raised to power 5. Let us do here. So 3, 1, 2, 5. So you see how important the prime factorization is. Again, it is being used. So since it is ending with 5, we'll divide by 5. 5, 6 are 30. One remainder taken to 2, it will become 12. 5 to the 10 12 minus 10 is 2 taken to 5 25 5 5 are 25 and now again it is ending with 5 again we can divide by 5 5 ones are 5 1 taken to 2 12 5 to the 10 12 minus 2 uh, 10 is 2 2 taken to 5 25 5 5 are 25 and again you will do it 525s are 55s are you'll eventually get 5 is to power 5 so denominator is of type 5 is to power m 
already I have written here if at the denominator only phi raised to power something is there still it is terminating so this term is terminating got it so it is not necessary that denominator must contain both 2 and 5 if there is 5 only still it is terminating if there is 2 only in the denominator still it is terminating if both are there still it is terminating but other than 2 or 5 there is another number like 3 7 something like that then it is non terminating repeating okay so let us proceed 17 by 8 denominator 8 when done prime factorization it will be equal to 2 cube so in the denominator we have 2 raised to power m again it is terminating only this much you have to write now see here the denominator is 455 5, which is 5 into 7 into 13 we can find it by prime factorization I will do it for you once again if you know this you can skip 455 5. since it is ending with 5 I will divide by 5 only 5 9s are 45 and 5 1s are 5 then 91 comes in the table of 7 7 1s are 7 and 9 minus 7 is 2, 21, 7 3s are 21. So the factors are 5, 7, 13. So in the denominator, there is an extra 13 other than 5 and 7 is also extra. So definitely this rational number is going to be non-terminating repeating. Okay, because the denominator is not in the form 2m, 5n. So some students will think, sir, there was 5. Why it is not terminating? Again, I am repeating with 5, if there are other numbers other than 2, then it is non-terminating and repeating. Okay, this one, fourth part, again do the prime factorization of 1600, you will get this, 2 raised to power 6 and 5 raised to power 2. And since the denominator is of this type, therefore it is a terminating a real number. Okay, sorry. So, 29 upon 343, 343 is 7 cube, okay. So, again it is of uh, not of the type 2 and 5 n, therefore it is non-terminating repeating. Here yeah, simply they have given the denominator in the form of 2 and 5 n, they have made our work easy. So, simply by seeing we can say, yes it is terminating. Here you see it is non-terminating because extra 7 raised to power 5 is there other than 2 and 5. So how easy it is to see, you can see by yourself. Here, we have 15, which is 3 into 5, and 6, which is 2 into 3. This 3 will cancel this 3, and now we have 2 by 5. So in the denominator, we have 5 only. It means it is terminating. Right? So this also, you have to see if something is being cancelled, then you have to cancel it first okay because these should be co prime these terms should be co primes a by b should be co prime only then you can predict something about it without cancelling you can't predict it correctly similarly see 35 and 50 both come in the table of 5 therefore by cancelling after cancelling by 5 you'll get 7 by 10 okay 10 5 is 30 by 10 5 is 50 cancelling 5 you will get 7 by 10 and denominator 10 is 2 into 5 again it is of the form 2 and 5 and therefore it is terminating got it so these were already co primes therefore I didn't go for any further calculation straight away I predicted it but these I can easily see this can be cancelled by 3 this can be cancelled by 5 okay Right, 77 by 210. Again, 7 11 are 77, 7 3 are 21. So, 7 11 means 11 will be in the numerator, 7 3 are 21, 30 will be in the denominator. 30 is 2 into 3 into 5. Since there is an extra 3 in the denominator, 2 and 5 are okay, but 3 is extra. Therefore, it will be non terminating repeating. I repeat myself in the denominator if we have 2 raised to power m and 5 raised to power n. Here m and n are 1, 1, okay. Then it is terminating and if any extra prime number is there in the factorization, 
then we'll say it is non terminating repeating okay question number 2 write down the decimal expansions of those rational number in question 1 above which have terminating decimal expansion so terminating uh, right we'll check first part is terminating second is terminating then fourth is terminating first second fourth sixth first second four six eight nine okay. so first part so we have to find its decimal expansion nothing special simply divide this 13 by 3125 so if you don't know the division part then see i'm explaining it if you know it skip skip the video right and do it by yourself 13 is too small to be divided by 3125 so we'll just put a decimal and after putting a decimal we'll get an extra zero so 130 right still 130 is too small to be divided by 3125 we need two more zeros here so after decimal i put two more zeros so that i can get 130 two more zero 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 now it is large enough to be divisible by 3125 and 3125 into 4 is 12500. 13000 that is 13,000 minus 12500 will get 500. And as the rule goes of division after decimal, every time you will put an extra zero. So an extra zero is here. Then 3125, one size 3125, we'll subtract it, we'll get 1875. Again, one extra zero we'll put here. Okay. And then 3125 into 6 will get 18750. Work is over. Remainder is 0. Division is done. Right. So if you don't know the technique of division, I have explained you. Now I will divide 17 by 8. So 8 to the 16. On subtracting, I will get 1. Right. 1 is too small to be divided by 8. So I will put a decimal because of which this extra 0 has appeared. Now this 10 can be divided by 8, 8 ones are 8, remainder is 2, 1 extra 0 always we have to put after decimal, right, so 20, 8 to the 16, remainder is 4, 1 extra 0, and then 8 for the 40, 40 minus 40 is 0. Here also we will see 15 divided by 1600, so 15 is too small to be divided by 1600, on putting a decimal we will get an extra 0, so 150 right 150 is still small i need two more zeros so i put here two zeros to get two extra zeros you can skip this step straight away two extra zeros right and now 1600 nines is 14400 on subtracting i'll get 600 and as usual i'll put an extra zero it will become 6000 and now 1600 3 is 4800 on subtracting I will get 1200 an extra 0 12000 now 1600 7 is 11200 on subtracting I will get 800 and an extra 0 isn't it so 1600 5 is 8000 and on subtracting I will get remainder 0 so this is the division part Six part 23 upon 2 cube is 8 5 square is 25 8 into 25 is 200 23 divided by 200 simply you can write the answer simple it is okay I'm not explaining but you can if you need any help you can pause and get this solution right 6 by 15 already we have done this 3 cancel by 3, 2 by 5, that is 0 0.4, nothing special. And 35 by 50, again, on cancelling by 5, we got 7 by 10. So, 7 by 10 is 0 0.7, no need to do all this stuff, okay? Okay, heading towards question 3, last question of the chapter. So, what it is? The following real numbers have decimal expansion as given below in each case decide whether they are rational or not. If they are rational and of the form p by q, what can you say about the prime factors? So, beta fir se bata rahe hai, rational number are of two type, one 
terminating decimal are the non terminating and repeating decimal and irrational numbers are those they are neither terminating and nor repeating neither their decimal expansion will terminate nor their uh, decimal expansion will repeat see first part so first part is terminating since it ends at 9 there is no dot 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 so it ends at night it 9 it means it is terminating and hence it is a rational number so if it is a terminating rational number what is the form of its denominator 100% it is of the form 2 raised to power m into 5 raised to power n okay now see this third part this bar indicates that these digits are being repeated infinitely 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is the meaning of non terminating repeating decimal expansion so this is also rational right but its denominator is not of type 2 raised to power m and 5 raised to power n now the second part you see it is going infinitely that is non terminating it is going infinitely secondly repetition is not there so first it came 120 then it came 1200 then 12000 then 120000 repetition is not there repetition means same this 120 should have been repeated here 120 120 120 120 then we would have said okay it is a non terminating repeating decimal but this is not repeating okay so this second part is an irrational number because neither it is terminating non, nor it is repeating hence it is irrational number right so this was all about the chapter one thank you